You may have seen Ronald Cosby, also known as the real Ron Ron on social media, talking politics from his hot tub. He even started up the Tulsa Parents Voice Facebook group that friends like Tim Ryland say he does not run anymore and is involved in school politic groups. Ron has done a lot for schools. You know, he is he is a proponent of public education. He ran for Tulsa County GOP chair. He's tried to change the GOP in a substantial way. This time Cosby's name is made making rounds on social media after being arrested late Sunday night for alleged stalking and burglary. Ryland says this arrest is not how things really went down, that he's involved in a messy divorce. People will say, oh, divorce is the worst experience I ever had. And, you know, really, that's kind of what this boils down to is is two people are separating and it doesn't always go in the best way. You know what I mean? Uh, Not everybody is level headed. According to the arrest report, Cosby was arrested after he entered a home that Ryland says he was once the homeowner with. According to the arrest report, Cosby was arrested after he entered a home that Ryland says was the home he shared with his soon to be ex-wife that he moved out of a couple months ago. Cosby heavily supported a candidate that ran against former state representative Logan Phillips. Phillips says Cosby and his friends he works with have a strong influence with the GOP. They surrounded several candidates for office in the last election session and uh, showed that they had a pretty strong and loud voice. Phillips tells me this is not Cosby's first run in with the law. Cosby had two restraining orders filed against him that were dropped. Then in 2014, he was charged with larceny and embezzlement for stealing out of an EMT truck. Phillips says he was also harassed during the election by Cosby. And he says with Cosby's influence with education, this is detrimental. We're seeing that these people's actual true histories are coming to light and it shines a horrible horrible pathway for what Oklahoma education is going to be if they are allowed to continue being the main driving force of education.